If Shakespeare was alive today, he'd be writing lines like this for resume time. Lisa and Bruce Fox will be talking about Bruce's new solo career. And Ali will be getting the lowdown on kissing with confidence with Will Powers. Yeah, and will Lisa's hair dry by the end of the show? Uh... Who knows? But first of all, we have got three brothers from the East End of London making their first ever television appearance on oh. this Rasmataz stage today with their great new single called Whatever Happened to the Party Group? <laughs> Behind me are two contestants, Roy and Rachel. Yeah! Here we go first on the first five questions. Rachel or Roy? Rachel, ladies first? Okay, here we go. Rachel, your first question. New order, start the week with which colour? Blue. Blue, Blue Monday, correct. What's Nick Hayward wearing and when? Blue hat for a blue dance. Very good. Talking of hats, who does a safety dance? Men without hats. Very good. Which band has two chart singles this week? You'll be funny. Good. Name one of them, Rachel. Red, red, wine. Roy, name the other. Please don't make me cry. Good. Dear Who sings Susie and the Banshees? Goodness. The Good Life is English for Ryan Paris's hit. What's it really called? Don't you need that? Excellent. Where's 
Billy Joel's girl from A, downtown, B, New York, or C, uptown? Uptown. Very good. How does Will Powers describe kissing? A, with your mouth full, B, with confidence, or C, with passion? With confidence. And it's neck and neck at the sixth position of the hit machine. Give him a cheer. <laughs> We don't know who's going to be this week's Charmbuster. We'll find out in just a moment. But first of all, do you recall who the last question was about, Roy and Rachel? Will Powers. Will Powers. And Will Powers has flown here to the Rosmontown studio today. Give her a cheer. Yeah. 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 Modeling Will Powers, we can hear your amazing new single, Kissing with Confidence, on the turntable there. Tell me, who or what is Will Powers? Will Powers is myself, the person, of course, and it is in actual fact a state of mind that I think we all know very well. I'm just here to remind people that they themselves are Will Powers. Whether you can achieve anything? Even kiss with confidence? If you work hard and if you make up your mind to do so, yes. Well, listen, maybe there's somebody watching the show today who's never kissed before. Perhaps you could give us a couple of tips as to how to be a good, confident kisser. Well, if there are some things that you're afraid of, I suggest you ask yourself questions like, is your breath fresh? Do you have spinach on your teeth? Is your deodorant strong enough? You see, questions like these will enable the kisser to feel far more confident. Now, I know that, Will, you've brought along an amazing lady called Lynn with you today. Is there any chance we could meet Lynn Goldsmith? Oh, I'd love to introduce you. All right. Hi. <laughs> Hello, you Lynn. haven't even seen the whole thing yet. <laughs> but now I have. I gasp. Yes. Real in amazement. Listen, Lynn, tell me, whereabouts are you from? I'm from New York, uh -huh. actually. Um, I live and work there, and um, you're a it, photographer. I do a number of different things. I've always uh, attempted to uh, work in the area of visuals and sound, and it was through that that I discovered Will Powers. There's some amazing artists on the Will Powers album, as well as your good self. Yes, Who else it's is true. on? All the people that I know who uh, have willpowers in their own lives, Sting, Robert Palmer, Steve Winwood, Carly Simon, Niall Rogers, uh, myself. Tonight, but, but, but three and a half. <laughs> yes. Well, listen, thank you uh, both for coming on Razzmatazz today. Will Powers and Lynn Goldsmith, give them a cheer. Look. And Lynn, finally, I wonder if Will might like to introduce the next guest on the show. Oh, he'd love to. <laughs> All right. With her super new yeah. single, Dancing in the dark. Here's Kim Wilde.
razzmatazz was the finest television program in the world, it'd be true. Well, probably. Right, I've got Bruce Foxton, ex-bass player with The Jam, and now a solo performer in his own right. That's right. Bruce, your new single, which I really liked, playing behind us, it's called This Is The Way. Tell me, is this the way you thought things would turn out for you? I wasn't too sure at the end of last year. Jam split up. I had Christmas off, took a break, <laughs> got, back in the, you know, got back into writing my own song. Mm -hmm. uh, got a new deal, and it's going really well. Second single out, looking forward to the future. We've got halfway through the album, which should be out in February. Yeah. And then we're off on nationwide tour, all Lovely. being well. I'm sure Jam fans will be pleased you're still sticking around with us. And I hear you've brought some picture discs for the hit machine. I have, yes, here they are, yet again. Lovely, so let's see what our contestants can win in the second bit of Hit Machine! Hit Machine! Hit machine. Now at the moment we're neck and neck, Roy and Rachel together. Who's going to win, the boys or the girls? Yeah! The last five questions each. Okay, Rachel, the new song in the charts is by who? Howard George. Good. David Bowie praises what kind of love? Modern love. In your ear is not the new song from George Benson. What is? In your eyes. Very good. Who's celebrating tonight with Roberta Flack? Pierre Bourne Johnson. I'm sorry. Try again. Pierre Bourne. I'm sorry, it's Pierre Bo Bryson and Roberta Flack sing tonight, I Celebrate My Love. Rachel, who's being kissed in the song by Elton John? The Bride. Very good. Who believes love will find a way? Dear Grant. Very good. Who believe in love in itself? The Pest Board. Good. Pill, don't believe in love. What do they say about it? This is not a love song. It's all on this last question, folks. Go where and do what, says Paul Young. Come back and steer. What sort of reptile sits at number one? Can't a chameleon. But at the end of the game, clearing the entire board, Rachel is this week's <laughs> champion! get the right, as well as winning all of those prizes, you'll also get the right to introduce our next guest. Would you like to do that for me? Here we go. Chop Boston comes easy to this group yeah. with that love that it is, with it's with Le Mans! Le Mans! <laughs> Thank you. 
once again to play Peggy Babcock and find out who's going to win the right to unlock Peggy Babcock's famous pirate chest and plunder her booty. And today, we have got Barry. Last week, Sandra managed an amazing score, reading the tongue twister of an astonishing 21.84 seconds. Do you think you'll do better than that, Barry? No. That's what I like, confidence. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Off you go. My name is Barry Davies, and I am the resident Tom Reed Resmatest. More than Dessie, than Jordan, Well, don't forget. Here we go again. I'll tell you what, with a face like Peggy's, no wonder her crew mutinied. No, I'll start again. I'll tell you what, with a face like Peggy's, no wonder David Essex mutinied. I'll do it again, I'm sorry. I'll get the sense of it. I'll tell you what, with a face like Peggy's, got no wonder David Essex mutinied. Neil, have you got the order of the boot for Barry here? I think you did ever so well, Barry. 